hey hi hello creatives welcome back or to my channel my name is Lindsay, and today we are diving into my february plan with me finally i'm up to speed and this video is coming out relatively on time and it's not coming out after the fact so here is just a little glimpse of what we are doing today and at first i'm going to dive in and show you the supplies that i'm using first off is my archer and olive a5 size notebook as well as n25 tombow dual brush pen i will also be using these two stadlers uh, a red and blue one my sharpie s gel pen as caitlin's corner has you know loved on these pens for quite some time some washi tape some craft paper and then tons and tons and tons of pictures that i found off pinterest i will leave the board where i saved all of these pictures down below but as you can see i saved a lot of them and printed off a lot of them the color on my printer is a little off currently these were supposed to be I don't know they just they didn't come out quite as nicely and i remember saying to my husband that you know why are my pictures that i'm printing off of my printer why are they coming out like a little blurry and stuff and he actually made a good point and apparently the new ink that i purchased from amazon is not a name brand ink and that makes sense i mean obviously it's not a guarantee that that's the reason but that definitely does make sense as to why the coloring is a little off for these um, these pictures that I printed. Anyways, so here I knew that I wanted to use this big Marvel word as my title page, but what I had in mind for February, the word that I pre kind of wrote out in a I used a Prismacolor marker, but I don't know when I when I had it in my mind. This is not what I thought it would come out as, but I guess I printed off the marble too big or something. But anyways, I really like what I did here. I like that I stretched it over the two the two pages. I like that um, you know I was able to kind of make it in a way that it this is how I meant it to be because I didn't really want it to be on the side like the the word going in the opposite direction of the page. I like when things are all, you know, from left to right, that sort of thing. Uh, so this page came together really simple, just added some washi tape, some stickers. I really tried to, uh, well, not stickers, the pictures that I printed out are stickers. So I wanted to limit myself to only washi tape and the pictures that I printed from Pinterest. I really want to, every time I try and say that, you know, my monthly setup and my monthly theme is going to be less. Like I, I always don't want to go so crazy with my themes, but you know, a lot of the time it doesn't always work out. But so this one, this time I stuck to it. I just used the pictures that I printed off of Pinterest and I used uh, just some washi tape that I have. So that's it, obviously, and my markers and stuff, but I didn't bring any stamps in and I didn't bring any stickers. I wanted to try and keep it, uh, you know, pretty simple and not take so long to actually do the um, do the setup. So I did this, this setup start to finish only took me about an hour, but this one does have a one less one less weekly spread involved so the picture there is the iconic picture from endgame sorry i like to you know jump from from topic to topic but and i get distracted fairly easy but this so my calendar spread came together really quickly as well i just kind of there was a few pictures that i kind of had in mind that i wanted to use and i knew i wanted to use the uh the a and uh yeah no i really like how this kind of came out i'm liking the simplicity yet still decorative i guess because like i still have lots of stickers and stuff or lots of pictures and and washi tape all you know around the the picture or around the spread so i really like how this one came out uh again kept it pretty simple and here at the bottom i just add i wanted to put as a yearly collection uh, to keep track of my YouTube and Instagram growth stats, uh, but I completely forgot about it and I'm not too concerned about it. So I just continue to do to track it month to month. So again, I put what I start at and what I finish at for both my YouTube subscribers and my followers on Instagram. 
So I'm just adding in this last picture and moving on to the next page. The next page is my financial page. And from last month, uh, and if you didn't check out January plan with me, definitely check that out. I'll link it here in the cards uh, in case you missed it. But last month, I didn't love the layout I did for my bills page, which is the page on the left. So I try to change it up a little bit here and I have the one decorative section here that I'm working on. And then on the left of that, I'm going to list out all of the bills for the month and the amount that is due. And then I will highlight it. At least this is what I have been doing and I'll highlight it once it's been paid. And then at the bottom there, you'll see the that's penciled out. And this is actually for my sinking funds. So before last month, I had more of a um, tracker to track the amount of money I've been uh, like each time I put in and each time I take out where I'm thinking that because on the right hand side, this is where, you know, I track all of our paychecks and, you know, transferring money into our mortgage account and, and that kind of thing. So I thought that it didn't really, I didn't really need to keep a full transaction list because it's all on the right hand side. So what I'm using the left hand side for, for those sinking funds is just the total. So the total in and the total out and then final the number that it has been added or I guess taken away from that account. Um, so hopefully we'll see if, how that works for February. Um, but again, yeah, I have to just kind of, obviously it's just trial and error as to what works, what doesn't. Um, so yeah, we'll try, we'll try with that and see how it goes. Uh, so jumping to my memories page and I didn't bother adding in a title here cause I know what this spread is for. And I really like the picture from, I believe this is from the first Avengers movie. Yeah. I think it's from, yeah, it's from the first Avengers movie. So I really liked the picture. I didn't want to put memories over top of it. I didn't want to block anybody from the photo. So exactly, I know what it is. This is just what I did. So, and then I generally always put, you know, the numbers down and then I've been trying to add in the days of the week. I might actually go in later and highlight the weekends just so that they kind of stick out as to what Saturday and Sunday is. But anyways, okay. So now we're moving into my mood board and my mood board is definitely different from what I had envisioned it to be. So originally when I printed off these photos, what I wanted and the reason why I had so many of them is because I wanted to actually put them on the title page and I wanted to make the title page just all these pictures of all the different Marvel characters uh, that have this type of background that I found so that they all matched and were cohesive. But I didn't end up doing that because I printed off that Marvel sign so big and I didn't want to block anybody. I didn't want to, you know, put that Marvel sign over top of it. So I decided for my mood board that I will just use all of those photos or most of those photos. I think there was about four left that I didn't use. Uh, but here I'm just trying to arrange to kind of balance off the blue and the red. Um, you know, dominant backgrounds to kind of make it all look good. But then I decided that I wanted to put Stan Lee in the middle there with the quote. Uh, oh, it's not really a quote. It's just kind of, oh yes, that's right. It's not a quote. It's just kind of all of the Marvel characters written. And so I, um, I had to move around a few photos because I didn't want Chris Evans or Thor to be blocked because those were the two pictures that were where I put the Stanley photo. So then I had to rearrange to make sure that I included them because I obviously wanted to include them. So working on my last spread here, this was just a very quick, you know, plan with me video, which is, which is nice. But so yeah, working on my first uh, weekly spread and I technically did my first double weekly spread for January, but I technically haven't used that yet. That's this current week as I'm recording this. So I'll see how it goes. I am kind of liking it because I've already done Monday. So I decided to just do, normally I do all of the weekly photo or all of the weekly, um, you know, layouts in this video, but today for February, I'm just doing the one so that I can see if I like this or not. And then I will kind of see what I do for the few future weeks. But 
We're at the end of my February plan with me and my February setup. If you've made it this far, I want to thank you so much for watching. It helps my channel grow and means so much to me. I hope you like, comment, share, subscribe, do all of the things. I really, really, really appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.